Hi, I'm Lulu and welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. So I'm on the beach again. Feels good to be here. It's so good to be here. Another day on this good earth so blessed. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, so me and a couple of the gals spent the day on the beach here yesterday. It was nice and it was cold. It depended on the sun. When the sun was out, when the clouds cleared and the sun was shining, it felt so warm and so beautiful. If a cloud went in front of the sun, freezing. <laughs> freezing. Um, that's how strong the sun is. The sun is very, very strong and we really kind of depend on it. In January, you really have to depend on the sun to be warm down here because if the sun is clouded over, chances are it's cold. So today is a cool day. Um, it's a little bit windy and it's cloudy. Uh, let me see what's supposed to happen this afternoon. Oh, well, it looks like beginning at 1 p.m., which is a couple of hours from now, it looks like partly sunny. 4, 5, and 6, 4 p.m. starts full sun. So, and it's only in the 50s, 53, 54, that's it. But with full sun, that's warm. So I'll look forward to this, to this afternoon. So when we woke up in the parking lot, the three of us, the same three of us, we woke up in the parking lot. Uh, we each went separate ways. I came down to the beach. Um, the other two girls are off having an admin day. They have stuff to do. Do I have stuff to do? Yes. Am I doing it today? No, I don't feel like it. So I need to do some laundry. No, I could stand to do some laundry. Um, I don't need to do it. I have plenty, plenty of things I can, I can wear. But um, someday soon, it's going to be laundry day. Um, I, uh, tonight, we're going to go for showers. It's time for a shower. So, you know, you really don't have to shower all that much. But when it's time, it's time. So I had a nice, relaxing morning. I mean, it's 1130. It's almost lunchtime. <laughs> and I just got dressed. I just got out of bed. I've just been in my bed having my breakfast, my dandy blend. Just, I was checking in with my nephew. I had a chat with my niece um, and uh, that we were all texting. And then um, I caught up on some comments. Um, I caught up on some emails and I just, I just got up and I said, let me get myself dressed. I found these pants. I don't know if you remember when I got these pants at the thrift store. I haven't worn them yet. I haven't worn them once. Well, no, I wore them once. Remember, I got them with that white shirt. I don't know if you remember. Anybody that's a thrift store, my thrift store fans will know everything I got at the thrift store. I got these pants with a white top, um, but I needed to wear a long sleeve top today. So I think I'm going to need a sweater too, but it's okay. It's just okay. Um, I wanted to share something. So now before I left on this trip to Florida, um, I do not have a heater. I decided to leave the, uh, uh, the heated mattress pad at home. I don't want, I don't, I just didn't think I needed to take it anymore. I left my 30 degree sleeping bag at home too. I replaced both of those things with a 100% wool blanket. I thought my comforter with the 100% wool blanket on top that's very, very weighted, it's very, very heavy, um, would, would keep me warm. And it does. You just, staying warm while sleeping is not a problem. Staying warm while driving is not a problem because you can throw the heat on. It's when you're stationary. Like right now, I'm, my hands are a teeny bit chilly, but it's manageable. It's, it's the low 50s. Um, if I get a little chilly, I just start the car, blast the heat. In five minutes, it's, it's hot and I need to shut it off because this is so tiny. It heats up really quickly. But a subscriber of mine left me a comment uh, before I left for Florida and said, have you heard of this little electric heater? It only uses, I forget how many watts, uh, it's pretty low watts and it's small. And she said, you know, you might, you might like this. So I don't want a heater and I, I, I feel like I have it all set, 
you know, I have like, I can just turn the car on. Then I thought, I wonder what this, let me just check this out. So I checked it out and I said, I'm going to get it. It looks really small. I'm going to get it and I'm going to try it and I'll decide if it's worth the real estate. It was pretty inexpensive. I'm going to say it was like $20. Uh, let me show it to you. I keep it in my little medicine cabinet here. Oh, cabinet behind my driver's seat. So this is it. This is how big it is. It's small, small, small. Let me see how many watts it draws. Uh, 500. 500 watts. Not too bad. The brand is Amazon Basics. I'll put a link in the description. I used it once on my way down. Uh, I think I was like in Virginia and I was like freezing my buns off. And I was not ready for bed yet to get under the wool blanket. Um, I had the car running, but then I turned it off and I was just like, let me try it. So I just, I put it, I, I plugged it in. I put it right here while I was just brushing my teeth and getting ready for bed. And, um, you know, it's, it's good. It's good. It definitely, it definitely gives me just, just enough heat. Now it draws power, 500 Watts. So, um, you know, if I was struggling with electricity, this would not be very practical, but, um, I have a beefy system and now I'm able to generate a lot of electricity, uh, with the car running and driving. So especially when I'm on the road, um, generating electricity as I, as I drive, um, this would be practical to use, but you know, I've been cold, like right now I'm a little chilly, but I don't know. I just, I wouldn't plug it in. Like I don't, I don't need to, you know, um, it's, it's the low fifties. I mean, I think that time in Virginia, it was probably like 28. It was freezing. Um, so unless I kept the car running the whole time, uh, actually my max air fan is open. That might be one reason why I'm a little chilly. I just leave it open. I don't know. I like the, I like the ventilation. So, um, I just did, I, I wanted to tell you about this because, um, I'm, I am currently carrying a heater. Um, I've used it once and it was in Virginia when I was freezing, even though I've been cold since I've got here, just haven't really plugged it in. Um, but, uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. And you can just check it out and see if it's something that you might want. A lot of uh, heaters, electric heaters like that, put, draw a lot more wattage than that. So that's what attracted me to it, that it was only 500 watts. So check it out. So I'm about to go take a little walk to the ladies' room over there because in this bag, I'm, I'm double bagged so nobody can see it, is my pee jug that's full and my gray water tank that's full, which is just a little, this is my gray water tank right here. <laughs> this is what I spit in every time I brush my teeth. I spit, I rinse, I spit, I rinse my toothbrush, dump that in. So this is all toothpaste, toothpaste, spit. Um, I could dump this on the ground and I could dump the pee on the ground because they're both organic um, materials. This is all um, natural uh, toothpaste and stuff. I don't, I don't use the other stuff. So this could easily be dumped on the ground, but you know, I don't want to be dumping. I don't want to find a tree to water with the pee and then dump this somewhere. Uh, I, cause you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have to explain myself to anybody. Um, but I know, I know that it's natural, but it might just, it might look a little funky. So I'll just take these to the ladies room, dump them both down the toilet and start filling them up again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. It's just what we do. So when we were on the beach yesterday, uh, the three of us were sitting in our chairs with our three vans right next to each other. And um, Renee had out her solar panels. And the solar panels, when you have the solar panels out in the sand, they get a lot of attention. When I had the portable solar panels and had them out, everybody would stop by. So curious about them. What are you, what are you, what are you charging? You know, what are you, what are you gaining? What are you collecting electricity for? You know, so... This couple came by, um, Katie and David, and what a lovely couple. And they just hung out with us and chatted for like, oh, at least a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. They just had so many, they were just very curious. They never heard of this. They never heard of van life. And they were like, oh my God. I was just like, just go on YouTube. You'll see everything that you need to learn about it. And so they were so inspired and they were, they were so, um, 
excited about looking into that possibility for themselves. Um, so they wanted to know, I, I told them that I had a channel, they wanted to know my channel so they could watch. And I said, you know, you might, you might want to go to channels of, um, couples, couples that travel together in vans and how you build out a van for two people. So that might be more useful to them. But, but anyway, uh, so they were just delightful. It was so, uh, nice to hang out with them for a while. They were really a nice couple. And uh, we had a lot of nice, fun conversation. And um, naturally, I asked them if they wanted to dance with me. <laughs> of course I did. So they were fun. They were a lot of fun. It was nice to meet you, Katie and David. Um, so today I'm going to do a little cooking. I'm going to cook some, I'm going to cook some, I'm going to cook these in the pressure cooker, two pounds of baby carrots. I'm also going to cook this. I bought a pound of wild caught shrimp the other day. So what I did last night was I peeled and deveined it all. So that was a project. And I said, you know, before I went to bed last night, I had a little time and I said, let me take care of that. And uh, so I got it all peeled and de deveined. I got rid of all the shells <laughs> before I went to bed, got to put them out in the trash barrel. And so I'm just going to saute them in a pan, just sear them up, you know. And then I always think, like, should I put some seasoning on them? I was like, I could make them smoked paprika. I could make smoked paprika uh, shrimp. That would be delicious. I could make it with my daughter's herb seasoning. That would be delicious. Basil, oregano, thyme, marjoram, marjoram, rosemary. That would be delicious. I have that um, that cumin coriander fennel mixture that I sometimes put on chicken and stuff. I could do that. But you know what I like? Just plain. I just like it plain. I find that like I take very little seasonings with me other than the chicken that I always put the smoked paprika on or the herbs or that. All those three for chicken. But I don't know. I just kind of like... I think because the flavor is so delicate, I kind of want to keep it very present, the, 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 the flavor very present and not to mask it with seasoning. So I've just learned to like things plain. Like when I have my carrots, just plain, steamed plain, you know. So what I'll have is um, I'll have probably 16 ounces of uh, steamed um, in, the, in, the, in the Instant Pot of the um, baby carrots four ounces of the shrimp when it's cooked and then I have some uh, sweet potato all cooked up and I'll take I'll take uh, five ounces of that I have five ounces of that in my maintenance plan so and then I'll just drizzle my oil on it I just got so I just replenished all my oils because this is my olive oil and this was empty so yesterday I bought another um, I bought a bottle of olive oil 
and filled that up. And then my avocado oil was empty and I got a bottle of that and filled that up. So I'm all set with my oils. Um, I got to do some dishes over here. I got my breakfast dishes still. And um, I'm going to head into the ladies room to my dump station, <laughs> dumping my tanks, my, my black water tank and my gray water tank. I got to go empty them. These are the systems that I like. You know, God bless you all that have the big rigs with the with all the systems and stuff that you need to maintain. I, I'll i never say never, but i just not interested in doing that, you know? And I know too many people that have all those systems and they don't use them because they're a lot of work to maintain. So I do know people that have them and just don't use them. So uh, anyway, so... I feel very grateful for this morning that I've enjoyed. Um, I can hear the birds outside. Out my windshield, I can see the ocean. Um, it's not ideal weather, but I'm not home where it's freezing. I'm not home inside. Um, I'm in and outside. I love outdoors. I'm really enjoying spending a majority of my time outdoors which is what this, this trip has been. Um, it is my opinion that this is the ideal way to travel. If you want to get around and you want to be outside and you want to meet people, if you can just take each day as it comes and whatever the weather brings, whatever people come and go, um, if you find it all interesting rather than good day, bad day, too many people, too lonely. I mean, if you're just always kind of feeling what you're lacking, then perhaps you'll always feel like you're lacking. But just find the beautiful in every situation and just to trust that every situation is exactly the way it's supposed to be because Life is divine. Life is divinely orchestrated. The people will come into my life just at the right time. And they will leave just at the right time. <laughs> and that's what you call life. Bye for now.